sit there and claim you're doing that for us? You don't even know us. You have you never talked to anybody in this room. None of us. So don't sit there and say y'all are doing that crap for us. It's not for us. It's for yourself. Somebody always wants recognition off of dumb crap like this. Why are you trying to get recognition off of kids and teachers that have died? Well, today, the State House Committee investigating the shooting said that a 77-minute surveillance video is going to be shown in Uvalde and then released publicly this coming Sunday. No state law has prevented the release of that video. Our partners at KVUE-TV in Austin have obtained a copy of that video now, and after thorough editorial discussion, we have decided to show portions of that video because this public record helps all of us to understand what exactly happened inside Robb Elementary School that day. It provides more context, but of course not all context. The video, uh, we, we should say here, is difficult to watch, obviously, especially knowing what happened that day. You will see the influx of law enforcement officers into the school, which should have enabled quicker action. You will also hear some of the shots fired by the gunman. But we have taken very careful steps here not to show any especially graphic images. Though it hasn't been released to the victim's families yet, the transparency and the accountability that this video provides weighs heavily in favor of showing it to you now. Our Ariel Placencia is joining us now this afternoon to walk us through what this video shows and what it means for the investigation, Ariel. Yeah, Jason, we believe this video will provide transparency and more insight into what happened that day. This evening, we are going to play four clips of video, and we want to be clear, the video has been edited, so you will not hear screaming from the classrooms. You will not see any injured children. You will, however, hear gunshots. Now, this first video is one of the toughest to watch. You are about to see an elementary school student, but this student is not physically harmed. This is the moment the shooter enters the school and walks down the hallway. Behind the shooter, a child will approach that same hallway, and then you will hear the shooter fire several shots in the opposite direction as the child turns and runs away. The time is 11.33 a.m. This next video begins roughly three minutes after what you just saw. You will not see the shooter. It's just as officers arrive with at least one rifle and try to confront the shooter. You will see them come into the frame at 11.36 a.m., but they will retreat back to the end of the hallway after hearing gunfire, and they will stay there for the next 45 minutes. This video is a time lapse of a 45 minute clip from 1137 a.m. to 1222 p.m. real time. You will see officers gathered at the end of the hallway as more and more manpower as well as equipment arrives. Now there is more footage of officers and equipment arriving and staging in that hallway. But for the next video we are about to show you, the time is now 1250 p.m. 
That's about an hour and 15 minutes after the first officers were seen on video in the hallway. Officers move into the classroom and take out the shooter. And in this video, you can see just how many officers there are in the hallway when the gunman is taken down. Again, Governor Greg Abbott and many in the Uvalde community have called for the release of this video. DPS's investigation, I should say, continues into what happened that day, Jay.